Hi, my name is Ivona and today I'm going to show you how to add rain to a photo. We're going to start with this photo of a girl looking through the window. You can see the raindrops on the window and I would like to add a little more rain uh, somewhere like behind the, the window so add more atmosphere to the image. Well, for that you need something called an overlay which is actually anything like rain or snow on a black background. So you need a JPEG file like that and you're lucky because I made those for you. You can download them from my website and um, in, the, in the links in the description of the video you will find a link to um, download those. Um, overlays. Let's just go and see the overlays that I prepared. I think the most important thing that you need to do to make it look natural is just to choose the right overlay. I'll just go through some of those and see how they look. Um, click here. Let's see. This one is quite um, dense and the raindrops are really small. So this one would not go with this photo. This is like a close-up portrait. This would be great if it was more like a mm, whole, like a silhouette of a person, or um, if you were basically focusing a little more further away from you. In this kind of close-up portrait, I would recommend using one of those like called close. Let's just see this one. This is close. See those um, raindrops are longer, bigger, and I think that would be much better for this type of photo. So let's just apply this uh, rain overlay to this photo. I have this right now open in my finder. You can use Explorer if you're on Windows and just click on this, drag it and drop it onto your photo. This JPEG file is a little smaller so you need to resize this. You can grab this corner and just drag it up and that will see that, um, that the proportions are different. So what you could do, you could change the proportions of this for this overall. It won't be visible. Um, you won't see that they were, they were just stretched because this is rain. If you don't want to stretch it, just go like this and just adjust it like you want. You can stretch it. I think I could stretch this one. So if I had it like this, I could just click shift on my keyboard and drag it up. If you're using an older version of um, Photoshop, you might it might be a little different. So in the older versions, if you were not holding shift, Photoshop was allowing you to change the proportions. You had to click shift and hold it in order not to change them. Right now it's changed. So right now, Photoshop is trying to hold the proportions. If you don't want to hold them, if you want to change the proportions, you have to click shift. And click this thing here, like a check box to apply the changes. So right now we have a rain on a black overlay, uh, on, on a black background, and it's above the layer here is above our background. So we can't see the background. In order to see the background, we need to make this black part of this image invisible. And this is what we have blending modes for. When it says normal here, click here and you have all those. If you just hover over, you can go down and see what happens and see one of those. That's the screen here. If you click this one, you will see um, that the black parts of this image became invisible. And right now you can see the girl. Uh, underneath. Right now I usually change the opacity of, of, my, of my overlays because I think they're really harsh it, just in order for me to see what kind of what type of the rain it is but I think it's too harsh so I can just go down with the opacity. This is one of the things I might do. The other thing is sometimes they are just too bright so the, the white color on the on the overlay is brighter than the, than the white on the um, original image. And for that, I could click Ctrl plus L. Ctrl L, that will take me to levels. I think you could do the same thing by going to image adjustments 
and choosing levels here. So I wish I would take it to levels and then you can move this, um, move those arrows and try to find uh, your, um, the best, the best adjustments to this overlay. I would say I'm, I would be pretty happy about this, but can you see those those um, stripes on her face? I'm not happy about them and uh, because I'm happy about the rain in this part of my image. I'm going to click OK and leave, leave this like that. And right now I will just add a layer mask to remove some of the rain from her face. Just be careful with this because sometimes it looks really unnatural if the rain is falling all over the photo, just not on somebody's face. So make sure that you are moving things like that on the eyes and maybe on the on the lips. But if there's something on like on her ear, on, on her neck, just leave that because that will just make it look more natural, not like um, rain that was added. So let's just add an overlay. If you have this layer uh, chosen so we can see the white um, frame around it, I click this and that will apply a layer mask. So again just make sure that you're clicking this rectangular with the circle inside and that will add a white layer mask. A white layer mask means that this layer is visible. If it was black, it, this layer, layer with the, with the rain, would be invisible. So to make it invisible on part, I need to make this part black. I'm going to use a brush. Click here, choose a brush. Make sure that the brush, that the color here is black. If you have other colors, let me show you, like, if you have other colors for some reason, click D and I will take you to... Uh, default colors and X will uh, make those um, make it go from black to white. X on the keyboard or keyboard on clicking this those little arrows. And go here, make sure that the hardness is zero and um, and there is opacity and flow. I recommend that you watch the video uh, where I talk about the difference between opacity and flow and you will see that I most of the time I use flow and I leave my opacity to 100. I'm going to try to link this um, this video right now and I'm going to take a smaller brush and brush that rain from her face. And right now you can see there's a little bit of that layer mask is black where I painted and this is what I wanted. Okay, so I'm pretty happy about my image right now. I can, I think I can just take this opacity down a little so the rain is not that harsh. Because uh, her face is much more important than the, than the rain behind the window. It's just like a extra, an extra thing, something that will add more atmosphere to my photo. Okay, and uh, if you want to download the, the, the rain overlay, just go to my website. Uh, right now, when I'm recording this, the, it's not here yet because I'm, I'm getting everything prepared. Um, I'm here on my website. If you want to change the language, click here uh, on the flag in the top right corner and it will be in tutorials here. Also, if you want to see my... Um, full editing videos where I edit my photos from the raw file to the ready image, go to my tutorial from my website and get some singles. You've got some single videos, you've got collections uh, of videos that will take you to, this will take you to, um, to the videos uh, in that collection and you will see the before and afters. For example, we were editing a photo of a girl here and that was already um, adjusted in Lightroom before. I'm going to show you the before and after of that photo here. And if you want to know how to achieve this type of color and this type of mood, just watch my full editing tutorials on my website. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.